In the city of San Antonio, reside a group of individuals who seek to revive what was once known as the pinnacle of sporting events. Igniting a spark within the community for the sake of future development and showmanship. Some of which is where history's next boxing champions are just getting started. Their physical and mental gifts are beginning to reveal themselves. Their exceptional drive and discipline for the sport just beginning to show. As this sport unfolds into a new era of boxing icons, these fresh young fighters cease to mark their place within the squared circle. They serve as inspirations for those to follow years from now. They come together as carriers of tradition and are cultivated by generations. This is where the passion burns for the sport most intensely. These are the events where history is made and where dreams come true, where legacies are created, where hopes and expectations are fulfilled. These are the Golden Gloves, and this is a heart of gold. Gloves here in San Antonio have always been big, and I think it, it coming back, it, it means a lot. A lot of champions from here became state champions in Fort Worth. So from the Fort Worth, we go to nationals all over the United States. And it's one of the toughest uh, cities in Texas. The Golden Gloves is, is a statement. It's a, a big part of the country, one of the oldest, most recognized uh, tournaments in the country. Well, back in the day in New York City, Everybody knew somebody who was a boxer. Everybody was a boxer. There was boxing clubs all over the place. And nowadays, here in San Antonio, when I came here, it was surprising that it was pretty much the same. There was clubs representing every part of town, uh, the west side, uh, the, the south side. They all represented, have their little club. Uh, and it, uh, again, to this day, it's the north side. Now, the northeast side, my, where we are here, and it was never represented before. We've been here for 11 years representing and doing real well, winning tournaments and having fun and uh, putting together a bunch of, uh, of champions. San Antonio is, is, a, is a pretty big fight town. A lot of boxing fans, a lot of good boxers coming out of San Antonio. You have a lot more homegrown boxers coming out of San Antonio. You know, all the ones in Vegas are imp uh, implanted, right? But uh, the grassroots where they come from, San Antonio is one of those major, major cities with, with it. The tournaments I remember were all week long, start on Monday, Tuesday, championships on Saturday. Um, a lot of boxing, a lot of bouts, and you had to go through a lot of people to get there. So when you won a, a San Antonio Golden Gloves championship, uh, you earned it. Well, San Antonio has been, uh, boxing has been the, really the, the first sport in San Antonio, the professional sport. Because before uh, the Spurs, baseball, the missions, it was always boxing. Angels Boxing Gym has been, has been here for many, many years, since, since the 80s. The first world champion San Antonio has ever had, Robert Piquin Quiroga, he came from, from this gym. And we had a, another world champion that came from this gym also, and uh, we have some, we have a few pro professional fighters here that are undefeated and doing good. My personal opinion, I feel like San Antonio is the boxing city in America, and uh, I really do feel like the city should get involved a little bit more and uh, have a little bit more sponsors come in, you know, try to help out the organization. We have a lot of great uh, becoming uh, professional uh, fighters. Uh, we have a lot of outstanding amateur fighters that are on the come up as well. And, you know, San Antonio has always been on the map. 
When I first came here in San Antonio, they had the Express News. They had the, uh, the Express News for many years did a fabulous Sunday expose on the Golden Glove scene and they said who fight and where and it was when it's Golden Glove time it was all over the place. Everybody would wait to see what comes out, who they're writing about this this week, uh, whether you're from the west side or the or the south side or the or the east side or whatever part of town you were from. And I'd like to see that come back more that that the average person could uh, be keyed in on it. And it's still out there. Well I would like for it to get bigger like it was back in like when I was fighting the in the late late seventies, early eighties. Because we had a we had a lot of we had a lot of champions that made it to state and won state. It's up to us also in promoting the, the fights. I mean, advertising for the people can can see what's going to happen when when we have a boxing event. I'm sure it can pick up and we bring it back year after year after year. Well, back then, I mean, we had a lot of fans. We had a a big turnout every day of the week. The boxers that we have here have a good, very good chance to win the Golden Gloves. They train hard and. They want to be winners, they want to be champions. To get to that level, to get to the top level, right, it needs, you need time, you need dedication, you need good coaching, right, to, to get you there. When, when I was coming up, we still had, we go outside and box. You know, even if we're in a club um, or, or gym, you put out the, some ropes in the, in the yard and, and you go at it. If you really know and study the sport, it's more of a chess match than a than the actual just brawl. You have to you have to know what you're doing and, and do things for a purpose. There's a lot of new faces, uh, a lot of new gyms uh, that have been, you know, coming out. And we we put a lot of work into our fighters to make sure that they're on a strict uh, diet and a strict workout plan. Boxing is not just a sport to us; it's a lifestyle, and uh, I mean, we pretty much put our blood, sweat, and tears into the sport to make sure we do keep a positive uh, impact on a lot of the kids that are we're keeping off the streets, and I mean, hopefully, turn some world champions one day. Not everybody's a baseball player. Not everybody's a basketball player that can jump on with a team. Some people do better in individual sports. So they need gyms like this to come up. The, the, the grassroots neighborhood gyms, uh, Angels Boxing, uh, Castillo's Boxing, Rendazzo Boxing, whether you're from New York City or from San Antonio or anywhere in between, LA or anywhere else, you know about the Golden Gloves and you know it's, it's an annual tournament and how prestigious and important it is. This is the best in boxing. The best San Antonio has to offer in boxing and amateur sports is right here, right? Because not, not only do you have the people that have been doing this all year long, competing, going traveling, we have ranked boxers coming in. They, they do it every day, train every day, but you also have those other guys that are, I'm just coming to win the Golden Gloves. Everybody likes to win. Being part of something is bigger than that. Being in a tournament and testing what you bring to the table against what little Johnny down in another club brings to the table and being genuine, win or lose, you're a winner. Blood is red. People will bleed, people will sweat like they did in the old days. Like the funny thing about it, do you ever look at a boxing match? Look at each fighter. Right before they come out, they all do the sign of the cross. They both pray. But the one that's put the work, the one that's put the work into it is the one that's going to win. God has no favorites. God will not choose one or the other. But it's the one that put the work in, the one that got up in the morning to run, where the other steps to sit down and sleep a couple of hours later. I'll do this later. That's where the difference comes in. The one's always there. 
Some won't make it, some won't. Being coming into the ring and not knowing what that guy across in that next corner has for you, right? Every boxer has to go through that, right? It's even though I may have beat you before, what do you have for me this time? You know, everybody has a plan until they get hit, right? So you can look, look real good on the mitts, you can look real good on the bat, real good shadow boxing, but until somebody starts throwing at you, it, it's a whole different story. Sometimes it's real difficult because it comes down to this guy and that guy and it's very close and the judges got to make a decision and they make a decision. It doesn't always go your way, but the life lessons uh, that are learned that, you know, you do your best, you bring your A game to the table, you put your cards on the table, you do your best that you can, and how it falls, it falls, you know? And you're gonna learn it doesn't always go your way. That's part of the, th the thing, and make you a stronger person. Every year we've pretty much had uh, fighters, you know, enter in the Golden Gloves tournament. We always brought back champions. Uh, right now, this group of three, you know, that we do have, uh, have actually been doing really well and they listen well. Um, you know, to me, if a fighter could listen to their trainer, they can go a long way. Now that we're starting back from square one in San Antonio, uh, hopefully the city does see that and, and, and uh, I mean, more people would actually want to try to, you know, leave their footprint in the boxing world, you know, and, and help out these uh, hardworking athletes. It takes a lot of commitment and it takes a lot of desire to stay in this ring, right? The bell rings to stay the whole time in this ring, right? And to keep competing, whether on top or, 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 or taking a punishment, to continue. And very few times I've ever seen somebody give up. You have a lot of, a lot of strong boxers coming in and they're going to finish the bout no matter what, right? You, you see it, it's, it's that sport. And sometimes it's to the detriment in the pros. But in the amateurs, you know, the coaches look out for you, but really, it's, um, it's a sport that does take dedication. And it, and it takes a lot of courage to get in the ring and courage to stand up and not run away from a fight. If you're a Golden Glove national champion, that's a big feather in your cap. That's for the rest of your life. People know you as a Golden Glove champion. And people don't distinguish. If you're a novice champion or an open champion, which is of more experience, they don't distinguish that. You're a Golden Glove champion, you're a Golden Glove champion. They know that forever. Well, you need a big heart for, for the sport of boxing. Because this boxing is not it's not just a game. But if you have it in your heart, I mean you have a chance to make it make it big. It takes um, that diet, it takes that good living. It takes that dedication. It takes that getting up in the morning before the sun rises to make sure that I get my run in before I get to school or before I go to work. And then after work um, or after school, back in the gym, you know, get my, get my good work out of it. I think every fighter's dream is to become a world champion and someday make all the hard work pay off. A lot of people ask me, well, can you teach somebody to be tough? Can you teach somebody to have heart? I mean, that, that's something that you either have or you don't have, you know, and sometimes people say that they want to become a world champion, they want to fight, and they've been in fights before, they've been in combative sports, but there's no other sport like boxing, and when they actually do get hit, they might think, oh, that, maybe, maybe this isn't the best, you know, uh, thing for me, and uh, I mean, somebody who has a lot of heart, you know, can go a long way, but it could also hurt you in the sport as well, you know. But having a harder goal is being a champion, even if you lose, you still have a smile on your face and you're still ready to get back into the gym and make sure that you put that work in to, you know, succeed the next uh, time you fight. You know when a fighter loses, there's some fighters they lost, they, they don't care. Then the fighter that loses cries. That's the pain. That's the, that's, that's, that's a winner. That's the heart. That's, that's the winner, that's the heart of gold. I'm 61 years old. I train fighters now. And you know what, and a fighter I have, I don't have too many fighters, but my fighters are to win. To make it to the finals, to go all the way, to make it to Fort Worth, is the desire to win. 
Now you talk about the heart of gold, and with the heart, that, that defines the heart of gold to go all the way. SanAntonioGoldenGloves.org um, has all the information for what, what's going on in, in San Antonio Golden Gloves, what's, what we're doing next, and how you can support. You can donate online. Um, if you look to volunteer, you can contact us, and we can uh, set you up. If you're looking to start competing, right? The information's on the website as well, or just give us a call. Uh, I'm getting involved now at this level, at this point, taking over this, the San Antonio Golden Gloves to ensure that the local boxers have a chance. That's all I'm, I, all I wanna do is give you a chance. So now I get a chance, you get a chance to compete in front of your family and friends on the way to win that national tournament. So I give them a chance, I give you the ring. Now it's up to them to do something with it.